Back to VS Athletics. In today's video, we're going to talk about something that is more in season than track spikes, which we normally talk about, and that would be the cross country shoes for Nike for the 2022 season. Even though we're close to the end of the season in California, we're basically entering championship season in the next two to three weeks here. Cross country goes all the way till January, into January where USATF nationals are held. So there is plenty of time to still purchase and race in cross country shoes for this season and the early part of 2023. So in Nike's shoe line for basically the high school and uh, kind of entry level college runner, we have the waffle line going on to the victory waffle and the Nike Spike Flat. We will first start off with the Nike Rival Waffle. This is just a carryover from last year's colors. It will be a new color this year. This is this bright orange and this bright kind of neon yellow. You have your kind of faux six rubber traction points on the Rival Waffle and you have a mesh multi-layer upper if you can see that kind of overlay there just added structure good heel cup good support so this will probably be the most supportive shoe in the nike cross country line for this year um, we have a lot of customers that come in and ask us oh i want to race in cross country shoes but i need arch support i need uh, uh, pronation support i need all this stability where in a racing shoe, as you're familiar with track shoes, these are just lightweight, no frills, minimal cushioning, just get as much traction to the ground, march as your foot in there as possible, and race. So these will be minimal support, minimal cushioning, just light as possible, giving you minimal cushioning. So um, if you're looking for a support shoe, no cross country shoe, no track shoe is gonna offer you arch support, all the stability shoes as regular trainers. So keep in mind that when you're buying a racing shoe, don't worry about all that kind of stuff because the amount of time you're in a racing shoe is minuscule compared to the amount of time you're in a training shoe. This will come in two different colorways. So you have this bright orange and kind of the opposite. You'll have the bright neon yellow greenish with the black swoosh, the spike logo on the back, and same deal, six rubber studs in the front. And it comes in two versions. This is the Rival Waffle. The waffles are pretty much made for any market that does not allow spikes in cross country. California is one of those states where a lot of um, races will go on both concrete, hard packed dirt and grass. So no spikes allowed in California. So the Rival Waffle and the Victory XC, reg or the Victory Regular um, Waffle will be just these rubber studs. And then they also have an XC spike version of each which looks identical, but you have the six lugs for varying lengths of spikes we want to put in. If you're on the all grass terrain, you'll probably go with your three eighths, real, real muddy courses, you might go five eighths. And if you're on hard packed dirt and grass, you'll probably be looking at quarter inch. So these will fit all normal spikes just like your track shoes and it also comes in the alternative colorway so same style these will be kind of your two mile to three mile or 3k to 5k shoes entry to mid-level and then you'll transition on to the victory waffle which comes in kind of the same colorways this is even more of an advanced shoe but so this one came in at 6.4 ounces. This cuts two ounces off, goes into 4.2 ounces. So lightweight, hyper flare, hyper flare mesh upper. They call it a vapor weave. Nike likes to have all their little weaves, different names. So breathable, water resistant upper. You have kind of this 3D overlay design to add stability and structure to the shoe very minuscule heel cup so if you can kind of take both of these i'm squeezing on this one not much i'm squeezing on this one nothing so 
super super lightweight for your advanced runners going on from 3k all the way up to 10k it will also be in the orange colorway same design you can see the 3d overlay here just to give it more structure you have your kind of heel support heel padding just to keep your foot locked in there lightweight string shoelaces to reduce weight and this will also come in your spiked version so six pins same design lightweight cushion this also does have a four foot carbon plate so more responsive in the front than the back carbon plates right about four foot right around there so you'll have more response in this that's why it's almost double the price as your rival waffle so rival waffle in two versions victory waffle in two versions xc and regular and then one shoe that i personally consider probably the best cross-country shoe out there is a kind of weird invention Nike took what was normally the streak, which was a racing flat, road racing and track flat, and they took the Matumbo plate, which was your horseshoe plate with four pins, and merged the two, and now you have the Nike spike flat. So this can be your all around cross country shoe. I think it's more supportive, more structured than the um, Victory, and it has a basically full plate up in the front so you're getting best of both worlds and you have more lightweight more structure more cushioning than both of the victory and the rival so this is the nike spike flat this comes in a five ounces so a little bit heavier than the victory but you have a lot more bang for your buck with the durability structure cushioning and you still have a spike plate full spike plate, four pin, and it takes what was one of the most popular road racing flats and one of the most popular track shoes, puts them together, and you have a very versatile shoe for cross country and track, so you can go 5K, 10K in the track, 5K, 10K in cross, and be covered on all of that. They haven't updated the color on this. This has been the same color for about two years, but still, great shoe all around. And that is it. So if you want the rival victory or spike flat, you can go to vsathletics.com or call us at 800-676-7463. Ask any questions about these shoes. Drop a comment in the comment section. We'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Or you can always stop by the store at 1450 West 228th Street. That's Torrance, California and we're located that's uh, 90501 and once again have any questions drop a comment we'll try and answer them as quick as possible and thank you very much and have a nice day